I love indie games and every so often I encounter a game that I feel would play extremely well on mobile if not play better on mobile and Dicey Dungeons is that game and it's finally here. Let's get right into it. I do like the art style and sound design of Dicey Dungeons. The art style is very unique and bursting with personality and charm. It really is distinctive with its shapes and its sharp edges and you just know what you're seeing and you know that it's Dicey Dungeons as soon as you open it up. Now when it comes to its music, it is also unique and high quality. It never gets old and it's varied and you're not hearing certain tracks more or less than you want to. It's all perfect. Now, unfortunately, this game does not fit my iPhone XR completely. It doesn't fill the whole screen. And there are borders on the left and right of the screen that are covered with curtains. You can make them curtains or you can make them black bars. It's up to you. There's a setting that allows you to switch that. And I think that's my only gripe with the art style and sound design of this game is that I wish it would fill the whole screen. But other than that, it's great. Now Dicey Dungeons is a deck builder at its core when it comes to its gameplay. You're able to acquire new abilities or attacks or items that you can equip in a certain slot, kind of like in Diablo equipment systems, and you're able to slot those in and then you have them in each battle. And you have to roll dice and then move the dice to their corresponding card, so to speak, in order to utilize those abilities. Now these cards in order to be activated may need an even number or an odd number or a number specified lower than a certain number or you just want to roll the highest possible. It all depends on the card but it really does mix it up and make you strategize on which cards you have equipped at one time. There are also various effects that can be cast with these cards that are called burn or shock and stuff like that and they manipulate your opponent's dice and prohibit them from utilizing as many dice as they would and stuff like that. So it really does provide a lot of variance with that. There are also various classes that you can play as and they have a built-in ability such as re-rolling or having a certain number of re-rolls because of being that class. So it provides even more variance and more strategy and more experimentation each and every playthrough. Between battles, you're able to traverse the world through a bulleted lineup of little events or spaces. And so some spaces have nothing on them. Some of them have scenarios or enemies on them. And you try to make it to the next level or floor, which is pretty basic in this genre, but it's done well here. Which brings me to the options and settings of this game, which actually quite surprised me with how much is on offer here. And it includes a way that you can just unlock everything up front so that you have everything to fiddle around and play with instead of just unlocking it through gameplay itself, which I could see a lot of players who have less time to play than most and who want to experience the entirety of the game really liking that option. You can also fiddle with how fast the animations are. All of the sounds can be fiddled with. There's things visually you can uh, t turn off shaders. You can turn on and off the borders, as I've mentioned. Just tons of options here to make this game play as good as possible for specific players and I think it's great. Now Dicey Dungeons is a completely premium experience and you get everything the game has to offer in comparison to other platforms as well for $4.99 and dare I say this price makes this the definitive way to play Dicey Dungeons because it's $14.99 on Steam and other platforms so this is the cheapest platform to get it on while also having this same exact content which is an absolute steal. When all is said and done, Dicey Dungeons really does lend itself well to the mobile platform overall. It can be played in shorter sessions or you can binge it, and either way, it feels fantastic. It has everything the game has on other platforms for a lower price, and I think this game just is oozing with polish and fun and personality. And when it comes to roguelike deck builders, this is as good as it gets, especially if you like a balance of luck and skill, which this game has in spades. This is a must buy if you're a mobile gamer or you prefer to play your games on mobile. So definitely check it out. The link to the game is in the description down below. Just go get it and do yourself a favor. All right, guys, that was my review of Dicey Dungeons on mobile. If it helped you out or if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, pop a sub, and comment. You have no idea how much that helps my videos and helps my channel. So I would really appreciate it. 
Also, if you want more content from me, check out the link in the description down below. It links to all my socials, including my TikTok, where I cover mobile games every single day, and my Twitch channel, where I stream every single week, and I only stream mobile games. So check that out if you enjoy my content. I really love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe, and take it easy.